Just say best chat, dude. That works out. Okay. Are we doing this? I guess we're doing this. I don't really want to do this. I feel... I feel less than confident about this build, but I, I think I'm going to go for it anyway. Yeah. Alright. We've got some decent answers to party shuffle, at least, too. And if the jester ends up getting scooped up into the pot, that sort of works out for me. In fact, yeah, we've got a lot of excuses to sort of leave people in the pot, all things considered. And we'll get a Hell's Hairpin out of it, too, if we win. So yeah, why not? Fuck it. Let's go! I'm gonna bring a bunch of torches this time, too. All the food. Even though I know- you know what? Yeah, I probably don't need that much. We're going straight for the hag, so I think maybe just that many will do. Welcome to the bear pile. Jo jump skull! Welcome to the bear pile! Thank you very much for the sub, buddy. Appreciate it. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Welcome! Mythos, say thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Watch and do my networking homework. Right on, Hidden. Enjoy, buddy. Grab one key, and, uh, we're going to the wheel, so we probably don't need a holy water. Yeah, this is, this is looking okay. Against her, I guess I bring one more anti-venom. And then we are gonna bring more torches, of course. I'm gonna bring another half stack of torches, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more conservative with the provisions. I know that I've just sort of become accustomed to buying out the provisioner most of the time, but... I don't know, maybe I need to be a little bit more hesitant about that. Yeah. Okay. This'll do. Let's go fight the hag! Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Yuck. Apparently the hag has some nasty debuffs too, huh? method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. So it's got to be one of these two. Unfortunately, I don't know which. Yeah, it's suboptimal. Oh well. I guess I should have uh, paid more attention to that than the potential for debuffs. Another surprise attack. That's that's shocking. So early on here, the Jester is going to be almost entirely focused on reducing the Occultist's stress. Since he's above 50 already, that's going to be a huge issue. And he is dealing quite a bit of damage already too, which is nice. But we have to focus on the stress-dealing enemies at the same time. We really don't want him stacking that up. In fact, in a situation like this, it sort of behooves me to maybe go for the Harvest just to prevent additional stress from being tacked on. And that way... Ideally, then we'd be able to use the, uh... We'd be able to use the Jester more effectively in the oncoming rounds, so that worked out quite well. She's already gonna go down, so that works. And... We'd like to stop bleeds, I think, here too, first, so let's go for that. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Bear, why would you buy food when this hag is gonna give you all the soup you can want? <laughs> Delicious! Yummy! Well struck. Ooh, that was very effective too, okay. The knockback probably doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's still gonna be able to do that. There we go. There's a lot of conditions to this run, unfortunately, that we have to keep in mind, basically, at all times. A, the one that I just described with the occultist situation. I probably should have taken him into the guild. No, no, I did take him into the guild, didn't I? Yeah, we just upgraded that, so that's gonna be a little bit more effective. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. But we also have to realize that even though we have an occultist in the party, he's not really our healer. He's, he's a damaged occultist, and we've got him focused on that, too, with the trinket set that we brought out, so... We gotta, we gotta try to keep him in that second position as often as we possibly can, but also have that in the back pocket, just in case. But with that in mind, we have to realize that taking damage, really in any form, is ill-advised. We also gotta keep our torch light up above 75 by way of Heaven's Hairpin, so... A lot of stuff to think about, unfortunately. Luckily, we just continue to surprise every single friggin' enemy that we come across, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Only the strength to follow it. Hey, NTQ, welcome. I will feast on your heart! I wasn't talking to you, NTQ. I was just reading the game. But I will feast on your heart. That will happen. I feel like the stun was probably more necessary there. Here's some more stress relief, which is fantastic. It is a very effective stress heal now. I really like that. 
Plus the, oh yeah, and the stress damage buff as well, damn. That is fantastic. Uh, blind fire gives us the, well, you know what, we don't even have to blind fire because we can target either one, so I don't know why I would do that. Yeah, that's a silly maneuver. I guess we just want to go for the damage here. He's protected, which I did not realize. Oh, shit. Let's just whittle him down then, yeah. That's probably for the best. We gotta keep in mind, too, that in the first round, she's gonna be a lot less effective. Ah, that hurts. Yeah, that was a reason to bring some extra food this time, too, is simply because we, didn't, we don't really have that many heals available. Let's go for the damage. Nice! Bear, what hacks are you using for constant surprise? I'll never tell. That's my little secret. I'm such a cheater. I'm not really cheating. Oh, that's a joke. That's a joke for the... for the 0.2% of people that didn't realize that was a joke. That was a joke. I'm just getting very lucky. Speaking of getting very lucky, we are, uh... We are in a position where I can battlefield vantage with our Arbalist. Oh, you know what? I'm realizing now, that is... That is probably a much better idea for her. In the early stages especially. We can just focus on her being a healer. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. There's already a wiki page about you cheating, really? <laughs> I hope not. Oh, that's silly. That is a silly thing. Yeah. You guys get me to 12, 12 million viewers and maybe I'll share my hacking secrets. You too can get a surprise attack in every single Darkest Dungeon run. Red Hook Studios hates him. Find out how one YouTuber manages to circumvent every single game's systems. I'm a fucking madman. Mad scientist over here with my hacks. This is going extremely well, though. Gonna keep that light up. The promise of safety. <laughs> Just don't react to it. Yeah, that's that's where the problem lies. This is seriously becoming sort of weird, though. I am I am beginning to question my own legitimacy by how many surprise attacks we're getting. This is insane. A faint hope blossoms. Uh, bleed is not really yeah, not really worth it. Let's go ahead and stick with this. See, we've already managed to address our stress issue here, which is fan fucking tastic. Oh my god. Give them no quarter. This run so far, like, provides legitimacy to the idea that I'm cheating, <laughs> actually. Like, this is insane. What the fuck is going on? The amount of crits were, like, in perfect health. I don't know how much you want to attribute that to my preparation ahead of time. This is sort of getting ridiculous. It doesn't really matter, yeah. I'll go for the back one, I suppose. I'm not- I really am not cheating, I swear to god. I'm not. I- I- I don't know how. I would not know where to begin with that. What the fuck? It's not supposed to target that! I guess I misinterpreted that, okay. That's wrong. Bummer. Oh boy. It's fine, Flexi, it's fine. It's- it, it's not really an issue. No, I'm sure it's- I'm sure it's all jokes and and fun Precision man and power. good lord blind fire I know is random yeah but I thought they had fixed it so that it doesn't target corpses or you know like quote unquote fixed it what is happening my god Singular <laughs> oh man there's a bug where Arbalists uh, recruited before the patch can still target corpses with blind fire. Okay, so that's... that is interesting. That's sort of funny that, like, it's almost a, a meta game where... the characters in the game refuse to be affected by the patch for the game. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Constant crits. I got the all crits, all surprises mod installed. You guys... You guys gotta keep up with the times, man. There we go. Not to mention, like, secret rooms every fucking run, right? I think those are probably still in line with... In line with average expectation. 
Alright, nearing nearing campfire time here too. I think I'll maybe No, nah, I don't think it's really bright to let the torchlight die. Get it? Ah goodness! Rail them off, one after the other. And this is time to eat here too. Although we could yeah, let's hang on to it. Oh god, alright. Pop torch. Oh shit. Ghoul time. Let's see. Can I get the stun? 70% against 129 base plus 40 with the Demon's Cauldron. Let's go for it. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Kefka 40! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thank you very much for the sub. Enjoy the badge and emotes. Uh, not showing up in chat for some reason. Get some bear hugs up, please. For Kefka 40. That's a name I've heard on the Bear Pile before. Absolutely it is. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, baby! Claim dog, yeah, I saw the CGP Grey video. Oh, that was that was great. I saw the I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. <laughs> that was that was really stupid. This is what I should have done. There we go. There it is, two months in a row on the pile, Kefka. That's probably why I recognize you. Welcome back, man. No, I saw um, I saw the CGP Grey video, and then I also saw Film Cow's response, which I thought was even better. Turn off the crits, dude! The occultist crits! Now those... I'm going to come to my defense on, because that's the entire point of this character. But that was weird. Why did the... What? Why did only the occultist get stress? Building issues wrecked my stress. Oh, no worries, Kefki. Yeah, I, I thought that was an older name, too, that I recognized. The, beast, the greater the glory. I guess the ghoul's howl can only affect one target sometimes. Bear, if you're gonna hack, at least have the decency not to stream it, yeah. Uh, for... If... I... I mean, I say this knowing full well that, like... Everyone in here probably is making a joke, but I know there's also... The minority fraction of people that may think... Bear's really cheating. No wonder he's got all of them viewers, he's a cheater! I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. I just get lucky. It's just a just a goof. That was a really lucky scout there as well. You know, all these <laughs> I keep I keep dismissing it and then immediately something totally random and awesome happens to me in the game. Thereby completely invalidating my clarification. Let's go ahead and camp out though, yeah, it's probably time to it. Here we go. Gathered close. In tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Okay. Dark ritual we could do. Oh god, I keep thinking this is a buff. I don't know why. Like I, I, I think I confuse these two. Yeah. Yeah, this is the damage one. I don't know why I would have to reduce torchlight by a hundred in order to buff damage by twenty percent. <laughs> but we can definitely do dark strength. So I want to look into that. Tiger's Eye plus Sharpened Spear would be great on the Hellion. She can also do Battle Trance, so really just a whole bunch of buffs here, honestly. Restring Crossbow, Tiger's Eye, Sharpened Spear is nine total. A magnanimous dispensation! Experiencing network issues! Boss gave me an extra 20 bucks for working overtime on a 12-hour shift, so here's a tip to say thank you for the stress relief your streams provide. Thank you very much, Experiencing Network Issues, for the 666 tip. Also sending other signals my way. Thank you kindly, appreciate that. Um, What if we boost our occultist crit chance? That's sort of what we were relying on to begin with. That's true, that's a good point, Akemi. Yeah, someone's going in the pot, so we probably want to spread out our buffs quite a bit. Let's give the occultist a couple of buffs then. Let's give her herself buffs. Maybe not, you know what, yeah, let's, let's just do one apiece. How about that? That's a good point. Let's spread the buffs around. Very good point, Adane. I just addressed you by your first and second halves of your name subsequently. Sorry if that confused you. It would probably confuse me. So we're gonna stay away from dark strength, I guess. We used Tiger's Eye already. In fact, we can just do all four of those, yeah. No way to really prevent the nighttime ambush, unfortunately, but now our... Now our Hellion is extremely good. Also just now realizing that we could clear this off by way of using an herb, which makes that camping skill insanely good. I'll continue it eventually, Alex, yeah. The the YouTube series will continue. It's just been a bit, a bit of a hiatus right now. 
man. Nutria Hirsch. Of course, watch the other streams and the new YouTube stuff. Now the stream, hell yeah, buddy. Okay, we're ready. I think we're good. Yeah, you can just, like, instantly get rid of that. I almost want to hang on to the herbs simply to, uh... Simply to prevent the, the hag from doing something worse. Spirits are lifted. That purpose is made clear. And I could easily just remove it once she's not in position one, which is the only reason why we'd want to get rid of that anyway. Hey, average guy, welcome. Good to have you. Alright, we're definitely gonna go here. A magnanimous dispensation! Catsters! Holy shit! Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, and so is lack of sleep. I'll watch this in the morning right on, Catsters. Thank you for the tip. Really appreciate that. It's very kind. Nick Games, hello. Oh, sweet. That'll do. That's a few hundred gold. I like it. Who do we got? 100, 90, 110, 90. Okay. Thank you, thank you. A little more food, because why not? We needed that. Unless it's covered in disease. Don't do that. You! No! No! The hag isn't a beast, though, right? That would be bad. Oh, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. Oh, well. Alright, we got the torch. In radiance, may we find victory. Definitely gotta make sure we, uh, we keep that torch light up. With the way things are going, how do you think you'll fare against the hag? Very good question. I think we'll win. I think we'll win pretty handedly, in fact. I was not expecting to be able to get to the hag in this condition, because we're talking about two total stress across the entire party. Full health, I think, across the board. We've got a few buffs as well, like we are in really, really good shape here. I was more concerned about the process of getting to the hag than I was about the hag fight with this team, but right now I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. So let's go see. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. That's a great start for us, too. The Jester going first is definitely ideal. Alright, well, let's just deal a uh, 45 damage crit here and see how things fare. Oh, come on. See, I was gonna try to prove to them I was cheating. Oh, man, that'll do it! <laughs> I was looking for a way to make it look like I was hacking. That would probably be what I would do! Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. A magnanimous dispensation. <laughs> Captain Wingnut! Oh my god, man. With the 50 bucks, Captain Wingnut, there you've given me countless hours of entertainment just wanting to pay it back. Captain Wingnut, hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I feel like that name is really familiar. And I'm checking my messages to see if that's the case, because I feel like you and I have talked before. But I may be thinking of someone else. Tell me if this is you, Captain Wingnut, the, uh, the person that made some amazing art a little while ago. Thank you so much for that tip, man. That is insanely generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The wows, yes, please. Thank you for Captain Wingnut. Oh my god, okay, let's finish this. Let's finish this fight we just started with a really hard boss. <laughs> it's basically already over. Uh, <laughs> God. I cannot believe it. Uh, I think I can just stab, honestly. Yeah, this is fine. Big chance to crit still. I had a grave robber dodge the pot three times in a row. Yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's the best feeling. Huge damage from our fucking Hellion now. This is crazy. Okay, we got one in the pot. We got one in the pot. Luckily, our Hellion is still in position. She can still do the sniper shot. And the Hag's dead! So, you know, that's good. That's, that's, that's real nice. I'm glad that worked out that way. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. What the fuck, man? Wow. I don't even want that. That's garbage. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, man, that was... That was a good start. 
That was a good start. Wingnut, I think I might have missed you if you were in here. Let's see. I drew- th you did drew things for me, yeah, okay, that's what I thought, man. Thank you so much for those. I remember those. You are an incredibly talented artist. Thank you so much for the support. Let's keep it up, man. No reason to leave yet. Yeah, no one has any stress. We're at zero. Zero stress. Cumulatively. That is absurd. This is totally ridiculous. We still have food. We have fucking... So much stuff left over. Look at this. It's like we just started. 12 food, 7 torches. Minimal damage. Are you going to the Darkest Dungeon soon? Not on this file, Meech. If you're referring to the YouTube file, I am... I'm trying to get that one done as soon as I can. That's that's the best I can offer at this stage. I know, it's, it's taking a while. It's taking a while. I'm doing what I can, buddy. Sorry. The hacks are so strong! This kind of shit right here is why I play Torchless. That's a double-edged sword, though, Miracle, right? You gotta be careful, man. I've been- I've been playing that game a little bit, too, and I've been... I've been feeling the negative side effects of that one a little bit. Yeah, I love the, uh, I love the conversation we had ahead of time for that fight, too. I was really concerned about things. Alright, miss the howl on everybody again, would ya? There's one dodge. What is happening? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, let's keep it at zero, right? Their cursed champion falls. That was their champion? Oh my god. So it's got, yeah, that attack, it's got a chance, a chance to land stress on the enemy. Normally a very good one. Apparently not anymore. High levels of stress resistance, I guess, yeah, they're motivated, they're motivated from the, from the walloping they unleashed on the hag, I guess. Alright, so none of this really does me any good, Iron Swan's definitely the way to go here. <laughs> oh man. I'll tell you what, this is fun though. I am definitely having fun doing this. This is the way to go right here. Bull is good. The crits! We don't even have any stress to relieve from the crits. It's just it's extra. Who needs healers, man? They are, I hope you realize your next dungeon run is going to be your party dying in like two battles from misses and crits. It's owed to me at this point, right? That's only fair. I can't even be mad about that. I love the speed buffs. Still not even faster than these guys though, unfortunately. Oh boy. Do that laugh again with the mic thing. <laughs> Something like that. A little something, something. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Oh man. I want to hang on to this for a minute. I'll take the I'll take the crests and just use that. I mean, fuck it. Yeah, why not? And then we can. You no, know, I'll hang on to the key for a second. The agility whistle and the blight charm. Let's just let's just get rid of that in favor of a stack of gold. I think we'll be able to fill that up. That's worth it. Another one. My God. Okay. No good. And we still got this full room. We've got another shovel to clear this out. And I think I'll just head to this room, and that'll be that'll be how I finish this one off. I don't want to overstay my welcome here. I need to. I need to accept that I have been given a generous bounty and leave without. Looking the gift gift horse in the mouth. Yep, that's that's what the, that's what's in the horse's mouth right there. Is the black plague a victim to the spreading corruption? God damn it! Malformed with misintent. Oh, that's rough. All right, well, I did say I was gonna have to take care of our mid-level guys at some point here, and this this may be my wake-up call in doing so. We can definitely commit 
Chubby Satan Amy to get rid of that uh, lazy eye perk and then a couple of diseases here and there on these guys. Probably about time. It's overdue, honestly. God damn it! Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. I think we're probably past the point of looking for secret rooms on this one. We're more than likely uh, not going all the way back to this section of hallways. So, yeah, I think this is going to be about about where we end up going. Let me pop these food before we go in first, and then get that torchlight up too. There we go. No bad. All right, let's go. Finish it off. Speaking of dark runs, that time when you instantly encountered the Shambler when you forgot to bring torches in the cove. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Oh, I remember that. That one was fun. Keep in mind the overconfidence. No, I got this. It's exactly what I'm talking about. No overconfidence here. Which is why we're not gonna snuff the torch yet. Hold off on that. A generous bestowal. Good Fox Zero! I don't always watch Twitch, but when I do, you are part of the best chat on it. Bam! That's that shot's fired at everybody else, I guess. Ooh, all right, all right. It's about their turn, I guess. We want to get out of here with zero stress, though, so that's the target. That's what we're going for now. I'm not gonna let some towering ectoplasm wreck my day. Fuck you! The unquenchable fire of the stars. That moment when you find a bone in your jello, yummy. Delish. Big old gelatin platter here. We're still hitting pretty damn hard. This is the last combat that we get the buffs for, for too. It's like I planned it. It's like I knew or something. What? Hacker! You can discover secret rooms in areas that were already scouted when you scout again. Oh, uh, really? That is slightly tempting. We do still have a key, but I am going to use it here. Yeah, that's probably not necessary. There we go. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. All right, not quite zero stress, but 17 total will probably do. And we'll do that. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, man, that was... That was a little too good. Tag down. Hell's hairpin acquired. Not too much money out of it. Yeah, we really didn't get that much treasure, but... Still decent. Didn't quite make up the amount of money I spent to prepare for that, which is sort of what we're usually looking to do. But that's often tough when you're considering boss fights. No portraits either. We're gonna need a couple more to upgrade. Welcome to the bear pile. Psycho Slot 34! Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. Thank you very much for the support. Oh, and tetanus on our fucking hellion, too. Wow. Okay, yeah. It's about time we head over to the sanitarium and address some issues here. This is getting a bit too ridiculous. We dug for months, years, an eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. 